guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to show you guys what i eat in a day um this is my weight loss version now i just want to go ahead and throw a disclaimer in here that everybody's bodies are different nobody's is the same um so this is just how i eat this is my journey this is what i follow i follow a bunch of different people and all their weight loss tips and tricks and i've just tried them all out incorporated what works with my body and incorporate what doesn't i want to go ahead and show you guys this is how i eat during the day during a weight loss i want to give some companies a shout out they are not sponsoring today's video this is just companies i found and loved one is bomar nutrition it is a company that is that supplies food and it helps with your protein and your carb um, goals and i really really love it and it's really affordable and it's super yummy i've never had protein like it and i've tried a bunch of brands and it is seriously the best i love it and you'll love it too I also love hydro drugs that helps me take my water intake. I'll show you guys a little bit in the video of how important it is to drink your water and more about hydro drugs, but I'll definitely go ahead and get yourself one and I'll go ahead and link them in the description bar below if you guys are interested. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in the video and take you through my day. Guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and shake as my lunch for today. I typically just meal plan at the beginning of the week, and right now I'm in a fasting stage and I love it. So basically, we'll eat a big lunch, and that's just like my big meal for the rest of the day. If I have anything, it's my water or it's like a little mini healthy snack. But this is just a taco bell pepper uh, like sandwich if you want to. All you need is just taco meat, um, bell peppers of your choosing. I just get this from Target and then just whatever cheese you like. So what I do is I warm this up. I'm going to cut this open, take out all the seeds, put some cheese into there. You can roast this in your oven. I just put it in the microwave with some cheese, melt it a little bit, and then I fill in meat, some cheese, meat, some cheese. This is about a cup right here, um, already pre-done. And then you can either cut it up with a fork or whatever. I honestly, since this is a little crunchy, will just smush it together and eat it kind of like an apple. <laughs> it's kind of messy, but it's super, super good. And that's my big hearty lunch part one. Um, if I do have anything else today, this was pretty full yesterday. So if I have anything else today, it's going to be a Bomar shake, which I will go ahead and film as well. But I'm going to have this with some water right now. So let's go. <laughs> So I am going to have a second part of my lunch today. I don't know why. I did not have a bigger breakfast. I just had my rice cake as you saw. Um, normally I have oatmeal or something as well in the mornings. If I don't have my rice cake, I'll have like eggs and oatmeal. But um, I didn't have a big breakfast today. So I'm having a little bit of a bigger lunch. And I'm going to try this for the first time. Um, I'm craving chocolate and this is the only thing chocolate in my house for me. I stopped buying chocolate because it's just way too tempting for me and if I just don't have it at my house I won't go get it and it will stop me from buying it because it takes time to go buy it and travel so we just don't buy it. So this is what I'm going to try. This is the Bomar Nutrition Protein Mug Cake. I have tried the Cinnamon Mug Cake. It is really good. It tastes like a coffee cake. Um, so I'm hoping this is pretty good. All you need is some milk and microwave for 40 to 60 seconds depending on what you like here is the nutrition facts um on the back of here so carbs is pretty good sodium's a little high but sugar and protein's really good so i'm hoping this keeps me full 
And then for icing, because you can put icing on top, I have the Bomar Butter Protein Icing. So 10 carbs, 10 protein is the cream cheese flavor. I was not a fan of this when I had my cinnamon mud cake. Um, so I've just been eating that one plain because I've not been a fan of this. But I recently saw that if you microwave this, it becomes like more of an icing consistency on hand. But it's like a very like chunky consistency in the jar. But I heard if you warm it up and then put it on your, um, like whichever mud cake you want, it's a lot better. So we're going to try this out again today. All right, guys, excuse how I look. Um, I honestly kind of slept in today and then I was almost late to work, so I had to roll out of bed, get myself together, and I've been working nonstop, so I have not had time to put myself together is the point, but I thought I would do a taste test. I might include this. I might not. We'll see how it goes, but this is the Bomar Protein Mug Cake with some cream cheese icing. I only used one tablespoon, so again, the macros were 190, so I just cut that in half since I'm only using one tablespoon. But I want to do a taste test, so I'm really scared. I'm such a picky eater. I'm so scared. Okay. This is good. It tastes like chocolate cake. Mm-hmm. You need just milk. It has like a weird a little aftertaste, but it's not like a big enough aftertaste where you're not gonna want it, you're gonna want it. So it's actually really good. All right guys, and really, really quickly here, I just wanna talk to you about um, water and how important it is to drink your water. If you're on a weight loss journey like I am, drinking up to a gallon of water a day is what's recommended for you. Um, and I've always struggled with drinking my water. I probably got, if anything, 50 ounces, not even close to a gallon of water a day. It's just because I get lazy, but this is so silly. But drink, getting a cute water bottle <laughs> definitely helps you. Um, and I love Hydrodrug. So this is Hydrodrug. Um, they are not sponsoring this video. I'm just telling you what has worked for me in the past month, like since December. Um, until now so I recently got a sleeve um, they can come in different colors I'm gonna grab my other hydro jug here the bottles it's just a plastic bottle um, that is 75 ounces so this is at least half basically the goal is you fill this up at the beginning of your day drink it and then you only have to fill up one more time and that's a full gallon of water that you have um, so you can get it in different colors it is a plastic water bottle that you can just put your water in um, and then you can get these sleeves. There are optional. I think they're worth it. I didn't think so at first to be honest, but um, They are so worth it. They even have like a little pocket So if you go to the gym, you can just place your phone or whatever in here and they do have a cute little strap um, but yeah, You can get them in different colors to whatever works best for you and then you can put them in your sleeves This also helps them from sweating if you put ice in your water But this is just a good way to get your water in. I feel um so it really, really helps me. Um, you can also get it with some straws if I can get it open with one hand. Yeah, you can also get it with your straws. Um, they do come with it. So definitely go check this company out. I think it's definitely worth it. I have not gone back to a normal water bottle since. You can either put like watered flavor packets in your water if you're interested. Um, I do lemonade sometimes. I do lemon waters. I have tried lemon juice, lemons itself other forms of water, Mio's, whatever you want to help you drink your water, definitely try it and then like lean down from that to just try to drink your water itself. I also love water and chewing gum at the same time. That might sound weird, but that's my favorite as well. So definitely don't forget to drink your water throughout the day. Um, I have been drinking this and I have seen a significant amount. Water does keep you full throughout the day, especially when you're eating. So drink your water when you eat. I trust me, I did not believe in that as well, and I said, it's not going to work, but now I have to drink water when I eat, and I get full so easily, so definitely do that, um, and at the end of the day, you'll see that it makes you lose weight. Water saved me on Thanksgiving. I'm sworn to the statement, you guys, quick story. Um, I did not eat good on Thanksgiving this year. I was losing weight, and I said, I'm going to have a cheat day, and I cheated, and y'all, I weighed myself at the end of Thanksgiving, four pounds, I drank my water, I got my gallon in, 
and I woke up and I lost those four pounds in the same day. So it's like Thanksgiving to me did not exist. And I honestly swear that to drinking my water, if I just had soda or something else that would have added on to that. But water has seriously helped me not have that happen. So go ahead and get your water in. That is my daily expert about water and I'm not an expert <laughs> but definitely go ahead and check out hydro drugs I think they're definitely worth it and you get a cute water bottle and to make it your own and I think it's definitely worth it so don't forget to drink your water throughout your day alrighty guys I forgot to show you this earlier but I do have an energy drink about once a day um this is my favorite I know energy drinks aren't good for you please keep telling me in the comments I read it all the time but honestly I am having an addiction I've literally had a monster about every day for the past six months yeah six months and I just can't stop I don't know why um here are the macros if you're interested um but yeah this is what I have I have one of these every single day I just pulled one out of my fridge to show you all real quick that I did have mine I don't know these just make me not want to eat they kind of curve my craving and appetite so that's why I have them mainly. Also, just the taste of it and the carbonation just helps me not want soda or anything. So I just have this for the day. It helps me not eat and I'm good to go. And for dinner tonight, I was going to fast a little bit. But I am going to go ahead and just have some carrots. I did already eat them. I basically put 10 of these carrots in a little glass and I just had that for my dinner. I didn't dip it in any ranch or anything. I kind of just ate them plain. But vegetables like this is kind of a good snack if you're in a fasting night i'm finding um cucumbers is also a really good snack bell peppers you just have to watch your condiments and whatever you want to put on them so this is my little dinner of the night was peeled carrots um i have three left but i'll probably give them to my hamsters <laughs> but yeah that was my dinner for tonight was i just had a couple carrots to snack on and then i drank my water so cross down for dinner Alrighty guys, and so that was it for today uh, for what I eat in a day. It was pretty not eventful um, But um, yeah, basically what I do is I eat a big breakfast and then I'll go ahead and eat lunch That will be lunch dinner and then I will go ahead and fast or have a very small healthy snack for dinner um, Fasting just helps me throughout the week it makes helps me get my water in there helps me monitor what I'm eating and making sure it's okay um, I do also want to throw in another disclaimer here that I did not specify earlier is that I track my weight quite often and that also depends on what I eat. So basically I will weigh myself um, once every single morning just to see where my progress is and then I do weigh myself at the end of the day. Um, and that again is just to see where my progress is. I can kind of gear where I'm going to be the next day depending on what my night looks like. Um, and that's just is what works for me. That's how I can start my next day off and what I can eat and what I can't eat. Um, if I have too big of a lunch dinner and it continues throughout the day and it's really, really heavy and I can see that on the scale, I probably know tomorrow I'm not probably not going to lose any. Um, I also do work out. Um, so I can do a whole workout video if you guys are interested. I definitely have been working on my workout gain and it has been so much fun and important to do that. Um, one quote I just want to tell you guys here that I had to learn the very hard way is that you have to put in the work for yourself to see it happen. No one else is going to do that for you. So no matter how hard you want to lose the weight, if you're trying to lose weight or gain muscle or whatever it's going to be, no one else is going to do that for you. You have to do it yourself. Um, so yeah, you have to put in the work if you want to have the goal. Um, and you can't do it. It's very achievable. It doesn't matter how old you are, your gender, your body type what you eat here and that like as long as you follow what you want to do and put in your work things can happen um you just have to have the mindset discipline over motivation i love that saying um so you can definitely do it if i can do it you can do it um but yeah that is typically what i eat in a day and um yeah i hope you guys liked it i know it was kind of random there but i've been watching these as well so if you did like this video, please do give me a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And please subscribe. New videos every single Monday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.